going to recap our trip to the Poconos. Hideaway Hills here at the Poconos is a part 72 18 old championship layout. We pride ourselves in the day golf destination. We also do uh, a lot of really nice things. So many things to do up here. It's fun for the whole family. Place for you with over 220 barrels of candy. Is it possible for a guy like a tiger to see him? Hi again, everybody, and welcome to Inside Golf with Colleen Wolf. I'm Harry Donahue. And Colleen, it seems like Almost last week, we started our tour of the Poconos, and we had a great springtime up in the Poconos, and now it's summer, and we're going to recap our trip to the Poconos, because now's the time people really want to get up there. Yeah, Harry, we liked it so much that we're going back, and we're going to see five courses in this episode. We're going to Hideaway Hills, Cherry Valley, Split Rock, Fernwood, and Jack Frost. How about that? She named all five <laughs> just like that. And you know, each one is sort of unique mm -hmm. and they have their own characteristics. And probably now's a good time for people, if you missed our earlier look at those courses, to kind of get it's a refresher. It's a best of a little bit. It's a best of, a little bit of a refresher, and the weather couldn't be finer. It's great. Love it out here. We'll be back to take a look at all five. She knows them, and you will too when Inside Golf continues. Inside Golf is brought to you by the Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau. Life's greater in the Pocono Mountains. Yingling, America's oldest brewery. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where America goes to play. Visit online at phillytomyrtle.com. And by the Philadelphia Section PGA, celebrating 90 years. The Philadelphia Section of the PGA of America is celebrating 90 years. Since 1921, the professionals of the Philadelphia section have proven themselves to be the players, teachers, managers, and stewards of the game of golf in the Philadelphia area. They are the experts in the game and business of golf. Please join us in celebrating our 90-year commitment to the game of golf. If five friends are having a light beer and they all put their drinks down in the same place, how long will it take to find the Yingling Light Lager? About that long. Because the rich amber color of Yingling Light Lager makes it stand out from the rest. The true lager flavor, however, makes it disappear. 99 calories, 100% authentic lager. Yingling Light Lager, from America's oldest brewery. Rethink your light beer. Hideaway Hills here in the Poconos is a par 72, 18 hole championship layout. It has a two tiered practice range before you go out. And once you're on the course, there's the signature Island Green and four different lakes that come into play. What we're looking at here is uh, number 15 green. Uh, it's the only true island green in the Poconos. Uh, it's definitely a, a fun hole to play. Uh, when you're hitting a shot into an island green, it, uh, you know, seeing all that water, it's, it's definitely a fun hole to play. Uh, well, we've just come off of uh, 15 with our island green. Uh, we come to 16 T, which is uh, an elevated T uh, to a dogleg right par four um, with, a, with a good drop to where the green is at. Uh, it's one of the forgotten holes here at Hideaway Hills. Uh, we have a lot of scenic holes here, uh, and this is one that uh, that I think is it's my favorite. Uh, but it's it's one that kind of gets forgotten here. But it's one of the best par fours we have here at Hideaway Hills. Uh, it's a 450-yard par four, dogleg right, and uh, it's a good risk reward par four. Uh, you can uh, hit to the left and have a pretty mid iron in, uh, or you can try and cut a little bit of the corner off and, and hit a lower iron to the green. Here we are in the fairway at 16, about 170 yards out. Uh, I did mention that this is a very, very player-friendly golf course, um, but it does have its uh, risk-reward uh, opportunities. Um, this will play a little bit shorter, but if you take too much club, uh, as you can see behind the green there, uh, you'll, you'll drop off a cliff and, and end up out of bounds. So you do have to be careful here uh, when selecting your club. When you're selecting your club, you just have to be a little careful. Uh, here we are at number 10, uh, 538 yard par 5, probably uh, one of the most talked about holes uh, here at Hideaway. 
Um, it's definitely a risk reward par five. They, uh, as you can see, the view behind me is spectacular. Uh, the conditioning is also spectacular. Um, it's it's one of those holes that uh, everybody comes into the into the restaurant afterwards and, and talks about. For for being away for for quite some time uh, to this area, I'm very very happy to be back uh, in the Poconos uh, and definitely here at Hideaway Hills Golf Club. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite golf courses uh, in the Poconos, if not my favorite. Um, it's always in immaculate condition, um, and, and we hear that from, from every player that comes through here. Um, we, hear, we have a uh, golf academy here at Hideaway, uh, which we offer PJ lessons uh, individually, uh, many different packages, clinics, uh, schools, camps. Um, we, we have just a bit, little bit of everything here at Hideaway Hills. The Fernwood Hotel and Resort sits on over 440 acres of land. Rich Millard shows us around to two very different front and back nines and no two holes that look alike. Uh, Fernwood, uh, the golf course was built in 1969 and um, has been, I think, one of the all-time good stops in the area as far as the uh, golfing destination, the Pocono Mountains, for since its inception. Uh, we still have a lot of repeat business. We have a lot of owners here from our villas and guests. Um, we pride ourselves in a uh, day golf destination. We also do uh, a lot of really nice stay and play packages here at the resort. Fernwood Hotel and Resort offers a variety of accommodations from simple and economical to the deluxe. Perfect to arrange that golf getaway. Uh, we have one day, two day stay and play packages, golf packages, uh, anywhere from two people to can be, we have a couple groups in today of uh, 16 and 12, 12 uh, gentlemen from New Jersey, New York. and surrounding areas and um, they have the options of either villas or hotel stay and uh, just a, a lot of nice options for stay and play packages. Surrounded by the natural beauty of the Pocono Mountains, the course provides 18 unique holes for a beautifully scenic golf experience. It's different in the fact that a lot of golf courses that they do play, a lot of the holes are very similar. You will never find this here. All the holes are different, they're unique to themselves. Uh, we tell everybody first time out, you may not play at your best, Second time, you'll really enjoy it because you know where to hit the ball. Uh, it's, it's not long in yardage in today's world, uh, probably about 6,200 from the blue tees, uh, around 6,000 just short of six from the whites. But uh, what it lacks in distance, it makes up in character. It's really a nice challenge and it's fun for all levels of play. So if you're eager to get out on the course or just to get away for the weekend, Fernwood is a lot closer than you think. The guests really enjoy the property. There's a lot to do in the surrounding area. And the nice thing is we are probably 45 to 50 minutes from Scranton Wilkes-Barre area, also the Lehigh Valley. We are within two hours of Philadelphia and within two hours of uh, New York City. So it's a really nice location, nice place to come and stay. You know, Randy, I look around, I see the mountains and I see the beautiful scenery, but one aspect of this golf course is that it's very user friendly. Tell us about it. Harry, it's unique because Pocono golf courses are unique in a lot of ways because they're cut out of mountainsides. Sure. Okay. And all the holes somewhat don't resemble one another. Okay. You got our front side here, which is kind of tough. It's more Americanized. Okay. It's more of a, a player's golf course. But once you do hit the ball, you get rewarded for hitting the ball good. Once you get on our backside, it's more of a Lynx golf course, which you can really get up there and try to rip it and kill it and hurt it and you know make it scream. So, all those uh, good things. All those good things that people want to enjoy themselves sure. after playing. You know, we talked a little bit too in terms of user friendliness. You can take a cart, but you can also walk the golf course at any time, correct? There is no doubt about it. And that's one of my big advocates these days is walking a golf course. Not too many people allow you to walk the golf course. Um, People want to get their exercise because they know it is a health factor these days. The one unique thing about this golf course, it is not a long golf course, it is not a short golf course, but is a very user-friendly walking golf course for the family, for the wife, for the husband, for the children to really enjoy their day out here. Yeah, nothing more comfortable than taking a walk with nature, playing a little golf. No doubt. And not a lot of distance. Say from greens to the next tee box so that you can just 
amble on over there and uh, put your tee in the ground and you're ready to go. No doubt about it. And Randy, how about some of the other attractions here at the golf club? Harry, there's many attractions that people really don't know about it. First of all, the location is just fantastic. We're only 10 minutes from the Delaware Water Gap Bridge from New Jersey, okay? It's a hop, skip, and a jump from there. Our other amenities is our golf shop, our restaurant. We have a seating for 100 people for outings, which we like to cater to. And it's great for outings because we cater to not that perfect golfer that wants to go out there and he'll have a good time and not you know, lose all his balls. And then we have a meeting room that's upstairs and that seats approximately 16. So you can have a little conference meeting upstairs and then you can go out and play golf. And we do have a lunch special during the week and that is $34 and that includes your cart, your green fees and the lunch. Okay, and on the weekends we have a lunch special also, um, which is $45 and that's cart, green fees and lunch. So you really don't see that too often anymore. So you can spend really the whole day here without traveling too far, you know, to other places. So it's priced right, the golf is challenging, and it's user friendly. Inside Golf continues in just a moment. Experience with golfers voted number one for quality, selection, and affordability. Over 100 different championship courses, including seven of America's 100 greatest. Indulge in gourmet cuisine, pristine beaches that offer endless activities, active nightlife, and more. It's an easy drive and affordable nonstop flights are now available from over 25 cities. Start planning your Myrtle Beach golf vacation today and request a free quick quote for the best package rates. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's where America goes to play. Welcome back. Our tour of the Poconos continues. We're at Jack Forest National, a return visit with Brian Lepre. How are you doing, Brian? Doing great. Good to be here. Good to see you again. Here we are in the middle of the Poconos. We're like five minutes from the northeast extension of the Turnpike. Couldn't be any closer for people coming up from the Philadelphia area. But once they get here, what are they going to like about Jack Frost? Well, where to start? I mean, the golf course is beautiful, as you can see just from behind us. There's amazing views and vistas out there, and it's also very playable. So that's what the number one selling point we tell people. It can accommodate players of all ability levels. It's 7,300 yards from the tip, so if you're a really great player, this course will test you in every way possible. If you're an amateur golfer, high handicapper, we can also accommodate you there, too, because we have five sets of key boxes. So no matter what your skill level is, we can take care of you here. And you and I were talking a little bit before we started this about how sometimes people outthink themselves when it comes to picking the right tee box and you have four or five on every hole yeah. and it's important to enjoy your round yeah. make sure you know where you're starting the hole very important here if you pick the wrong tee box here it can be a really long afternoon i can tell you that well and i know you have various types of memberships you're also open for daily fee play tell us about that a yeah, little bit yeah we have three types of memberships we have long-term memberships five years we have two-year memberships and we're also open to the public, so we really can take care of anybody if you're a local or if you're a person who comes up here on the weekends. We do have memberships specifically designed for those types of people. And also the public obviously can play here anytime they want. Brian, we're here at 18. What a closing hole this is. Par five, it's uphill, so it plays longer. And the thing that I'm struck by is the fact the green that sits up there on the left side is probably, what, about 100 feet elevated more than where we yeah. are on the tee. Yeah, it really is an awesome uh, finishing hole. Uh, the golf course itself is great, but if you didn't have an impressive finishing hole, you'd feel like something was left out there. But this is a really awesome finishing hole. It's tough, but it's extremely fair. There's a lot of room off the tee, as you can see. Um, but you have to be precise with your second shot if you want to get to scoring position here. Right. And now I know you said uh, a lot of times this course as a whole favors somebody that maybe hits the ball left to right. But here, obviously, if you hit the ball right to left, yeah. This is made for you. Yeah, if you can hit a draw right around that bunker there, there's a yardage marker for 250. So if you're feeling risky, you can take a shot at this green and give yourself a look for eagle or birdie. Um, it doesn't happen too often. A lot of the players choose to hit a mid iron to the second level there to give themselves a wedge into the green, but the green is very difficult. Now I know you're busy around the pro shop and giving lessons, but how many times have you reached this green in two? Well, I, I try it every time I come up here, probably successfully three or four times, which is not a very high percentage in the amount of times I've been out here. And the number of eagles? Uh, just one. Oh, there you go. On, on number 18, right? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. How many guys get a chance to make eagle on the finishing hole? That's a round changer. Well, Brian, thanks for your tour of uh, Jack Frost National again. Yeah. Good look at the back nine. What's your 
closing comment to our viewers about Jack Frost National? Well, we'd just like to tell everybody who's planning on making a trip to the Poconos or a golf trip up here to choose Jack Frost. You won't be disappointed. The conditions are great. It's a really, really strong layout for players of all ability levels. So please come up. You won't be disappointed. Resting on 6,500 acres of land, Split Rock Golf Club offers 27 holes of championship golf. Head professional Brian Patrick joins us to explore a course that calls for a combination of strategy and power. Split Rock's a true mountain golf course. Uh, we have a lot of hills, a lot of undulation, but it also there's a lot of flat spots in the fairways to play your shots from. So it's not a totally impossible golf course to play. Fairways are a little narrow and the greens are well guarded between bunkers and some hills around the greens. Greens are average size, not very small, but not very big, so they're receptive to shots. Every hole is unique when you start with our first hole, a downhill par five to the right. You just look out, see the mountains, you see how great everything looks up here. Each hole has its own unique appeal. Every shot can be different, and I tell everybody, if you're playing golf out here, hit the ball where you can see. It's the easiest way to play this golf course. There's a lot of times you can get caught up and try to go over corners or different things. But, you know, pick the set of tees that best suits your game, whether it's the white tees, the blue tees, or the forward tees. Find something comfortable. Enjoy our GPS on the cards, which helps you out a lot on the golf course. And more important, have a great round. And because of the expansive layout, you'll need some guidance through your round. It's one of the newer courses in the Poconos. We have all brand new golf carts. We have GPS on every cart, which is a big bonus here for the new golfer playing it for the first time. They actually see the hole, see the distances they need to hit. It's at five sets of tees. You can play up to 7,200 yards, but it's an exciting golf course. It's not the typical old Pocono golf course. It's a lot of really good golf holes, driving range, two practice greens, and it's fun to play. And you'll really enjoy the view, the wildlife, all the scenery out here. For those lucky enough to play Split Rock, the experience doesn't have to end with golf. Split Rock's a resort golf course open to the public, so we have a daily fee operation. There are golf packages available staying at our hotel, which include overnight stay, breakfast, and dinner and around the golf. We have our two snack bars. We have a cafe downstairs, full bar and restaurant upstairs. The Sunset Green seats up to 120 people. We do do weddings. We have a lot of golf tournaments that'll have their meals upstairs. On our main level, we have an outside patio for lunches and continental breakfast before tournaments. And then everybody will go up and you can see the clubhouse and just a great view from our patio and great food up there. And it's a good time having your tournament here. As a full service resort, Split Rock's ample list of amenities continues to grow. We have a beach, a lagoon. We have nine different types of accommodations, 600 rooms here. We have an indoor water park that's open all year round, which is great for the kids in the winter, or even in the summer when the parents come golfing, the kids can go up to the water park. A brand new uh, indoor bowling center and arcade center for the kids. First run movie theater, and of course the golf course. But there's just so many things to do up here, it's fun for the whole family. They told me that you were the golf coach at St. Joseph's. And that must have been a whole new experience. It's time Light Beer got some character. 99 calories, 100% authentic lager. Yingling Light Lager from America's oldest brewery. Rethink your light beer. Guests of Inside Golf enjoy dining at Sin Sin, the popular Asian fusion restaurant located on Germantown Avenue in the heart of scenic Chestnut Hill. And now it's time for Teed Off, brought to you by Yingling, America's oldest brewery. I think the number one thing with teaching golf is Welcome back. Inside Golf continues with our Teed Off segment. Today from Edgemont Country Club in Delaware County with a couple guys who are no strangers to Edgemont, no strangers to basketball or golf in Philadelphia. Herb McGee is the uh, celebrated coach for years at Philadelphia University, soon to be inducted into the Naismith Hall of Fame. And to his left and my right, Tony Leodora, a Hall of Famer in his own mind, no doubt, but also the host of Golf Talk Live on WNTP every week. And Jim Lynham. Started his career, West Catholic, St. Joe's, coached for years in the NBA, and plays golf virtually every day here at Edgemont Country Club. Let me start with Herb. You and Jimmy both 
longtime coaches, very successful at the highest levels. You've brought a lot to your players, helping them to be the very best basketball players they can be. Can you do the same thing? Can a coach do the same thing, do you think, with a young golfer? I, I think without question. Uh, what, uh, people talk about coaching, and I, I'd rather use the word teaching. Uh, what I attempt to do with my players, and I'm sure Jim is the same, is teach the players how to play the game. Larry Brown had a great expression, playing the right way, and a lot of people would look at him, what are you talking about? Well, there is a way to play the game of basketball, and he was very, very good at it. And I'd like to consider the fact, I hope that I'm equally as good or maybe close to him. But I think the number one thing with teaching golf is you better know the game inside and out. Uh, you better know how to uh, start the swing, end the swing, give the kids swing thoughts and so on. And I think that uh, you better be a good player yourself if you're going to be a good teacher. And it, I think that would be the case, I think. And, but I think a young golfer, I think uh, the best young golfers are guys who have great teachers. And I think that's the key. Now, now Jim, you, you had told me that you were the golf coach at St. Joseph's. And that must have been a whole new experience for you. Well, right? I, uh, more like the golf moderator. Okay. <laughs> you made out the lineup? <laughs> made out the lineup, got the players to the course, <laughs> made sure everybody had all their clubs, that type of thing. Okay, so you I weren't out there with, uh, with video cameras and, no. and instruction We manuals. didn't have video cameras back then. Back in those days. But picking up on what Herb said, is there a similar trend, though, do you think? What yeah. can be brought to a young golfer that's brought to a young basketball Without player? Without question, Harry, and I think the evidence, uh, indisputable, is the fact that all the great players in the world have coaches. Right. These guys are winning millions of dollars, uh, you know, on tour, and yet they have coaches who are out there on the practice range with them virtually every day. And I think Herb hit on it. If you're going to coach, you have to have, uh, like, a really sound knowledge of whatever your sport is so that technically you can help your players. And be straight about this, the great ones, uh, without question, like the, the Jordans and Larry Birds of the world, number one, they're very, very proficient. They know what they're doing in a technical sense. But I think the second factor is, as a coach, is the mental aspect. You know, you alluded to confidence earlier. You know, it's very difficult to be a successful athlete if you don't have supreme confidence, and a coach can help foster that. Tony, you've been around a lot of golfers in your day at all different levels. Is is it possible for a guy like, like Tiger, you see him let go of one swing coach and bring on another? I mean, what can one guy like Sean Foley do for his game that Butch Harmon couldn't? Yeah, coaching has taken on a whole different aspect lately. From the old story of taking a few lessons from someone, which maybe you and I just, that's all we get to do, but the young players coming up get a full coaching now. Not only are they taking lessons from a professional who is proficient, as Jim talked about, but they're being coached maybe by that same person on nutrition, on exercise, on physical fitness, on how the mental side of golf, and it's an entire thing. And, and the best ones actually get an entire coaching portfolio that helps them become a better golfer. And obviously that was not something that existed not that many years ago. But now it's being treated as, as developing that entire golfer. And it goes back to what you talked about, her, the mental side of golf being so difficult. Uh, that has to be coached and brought along the same way the technique of, of hitting the golf ball so has So Ben Hogan done. never had a coach? He did not have no, a coach. He, okay. yeah. he, did not, he, didn't he had to and, figure and, it out himself. Yeah, right. but maybe he would have been way better earlier had he had one. Maybe he would have figured out that, that thing that kept him from hooking like the ball. Like Herb with shooting. Herb never had a shooting coach. Right. Figured it out. And now, and now it, he's yeah. a shooting coach to the stars. Well, yeah, that's right. Jim Lynham, one of them. And <laughs> Jim Lynham, one of them. We'll be back. Inside Golf continues in just a moment. Teed Off has been taped on location at the historic Edgemont Country Club on Westchester Pike, a private club that caters to the community for weddings, outings, parties, and meetings. Find out more about the club that has hosted everyone from Bob Hope to Ed Doherty at edgemont.com. The Philadelphia section of the PGA of America is celebrating 90 years. Since 1921, the professionals of the Philadelphia section have proven themselves to be the players, teachers, managers, and stewards of the game of golf in the Philadelphia area. They are the experts in the game and business of golf. Please join us in celebrating our 90-year commitment to the game of golf. 
Colleen Wolf's wardrobe is provided by Adidas, the leader in men's and women's apparel for the athletic golfer. If you have a sweet tooth, we've found just the place for you. With over 220 barrels of candy, Country Kettle is sure to have your personal favorite. Country Kettle is a large gift store. We're located here in the Pocono Mountains. Um, we have everything from ladies' accessories to home decor to our candy shop, which is the, our claim to fame. Uh, over 220 barrels of candy. It's all the same price, so the customers can mix and match any way they want. In its 25 years, Pam's business has grown, and so have those barrels of candy. We started very small. In fact, I started with eight barrels of candy. And then as customers would ask for things, we'd make notes. And of course, we'd add them on. Then we put on an addition, and that went over very nicely. And we added on again, and we just kept on going. <laughs> and much of what they sell, they make themselves. We also have our own jams and jellies. Uh, everything from pepper jam to strawberry jam and grape jelly. Uh, we carry our own fudge, all our own chocolates, um, all different types of snack mixes. Uh, and again, we have samples out for the customers to try so they know they like them before they buy them. And make sure you come prepared because all customers at Country Kettle turn into kids in a candy store. They love the candy shop. I mean, I'd like to say that they love all the rest of my store too, but it's when they get to the candy shop is when they'll say, oh my God, I love this place. It's all old fashioned candy, so people tend to reminisce when they get back here. But candy isn't the only thing that's sweet at this Pocono Mountain shop. We carry a lot of collectibles. Uh, Swarovski is very big for us. We carry both their crystal line and their jewelry line. Uh, we also carry the line of John Madeira's jewelry, which is very popular. Annalise, is, you can get a gift for 99 cents or you can get a gift for $500 in everything. And like I said, the candy shop is the big thing. Can try all different kinds of samples. We often tell people we actually should charge a, a price for coming into the candy shop because that's how much they eat. <laughs> but it, then they know when they leave that they like everything they've bought. The Country Kettle, that's a perfect alternative to most 19 holes that I know of. It really is. You know, I spent my entire afternoon there. I bet you did, and no samples to show for it, right? Nope, I ate them all. For all about our review of Pocono Golf, you can go to... InsideGolf.net. There's a great discount card there, and you can get all the information on our website. And next week on Inside Golf... Five more Pocono courses. It's almost like a little tutorial for everyone. That's right. She's got her chalkboard out, and she's going to give you all the lessons you need about Pocono Mountain Golf. Hey, remember, folks, no matter how bad it's going for you out there, don't pick up. For Colleen Wolf, I'm Harry Donahue. We'll see you next time on Inside Golf. Inside Golf has been brought to you by the Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau. Life's greater in the Pocono Mountains. Yingling, America's oldest brewery. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where America goes to play. Now fly nonstop on Spirit Airlines. Details at phillytomyrtle.com. And by the Philadelphia Section PGA, celebrating 90 years.